Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And several months ago or whenever, I made a video about if you needed to make a uh, certain size uh, polygon, six-sided polygon, and you wanted that to be seven, seven inches exactly, you could just start scaling it down and then scale it back up, scale it back up, and you can actually go to percentages. Like, we'll make it... Uh, nine five now and we're almost there so let's go nine five one nine five two but somebody I said there should be an equation like I knew there was and I and I know there is and I've actually got my math guru I just sent him an email but I started trying to figure it out myself uh, I'm not I'm pretty smart common math, but stuff like this is a little bit over my head. But if you take, so you got it, you've got this and you want it to be six and you got this and you want it to be seven. And so what I did is uh, 6.93, which is the length of one side is 13.86. 8.8 is 6.16. So I divided that by 14 and I came up with 1.145. There's some rounding off there, but I, I figured out that you could cut it out. So if you if we want this to be seven, click on our rectangle and see it's 14, which is that measurement. Backspace and take away a couple of zeros and then divide it by 1.155. Let's do the 12. Backspace a couple, divide it by 1.155 and you get six. So there's a way, if you had to do a lot of them and you had, you know, the common, now you see we got a, a weird shape. So if you're going to start this out, you would want to draw one and make it an even shape, you know, uh, a rounded number. So we just do the 12 and, you know, know now that we know the, formula that is w as well as I know it divided by 1.155 and if we happen to measure that with the parallel dimension tool you've got this this well I didn't come off of it you've got the six I think that would work continuously going on you just have to um, measure this and put it you know put the equation so it was our 14 which was this one into the, uh, which I'm, what I did, I measured both, you know, it was uh, 8.08 .08 times two. And this one was, well, let's just back up here and see what they were uh, before I ever did anything. So that was 8.08. .08. So there's my 6.16 and this was 6.93. So it would be 1386 divided by 12 and you get that number. I hope that's right. If I'm totally wrong, I'll uh, make a part two when my math guru keys in. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.